conscious strategy that engages the energies, passion, and commitment to the world. And that is what the United for Change Initiative is about. We're really inviting every citizen to come together to make his or her community safe. And I would just love to see Jamaica turn the corner in this. We have 500 students in the program. We have 120 students at the tertiary level. And we have, and the other 400 are in high school. So we have from first form right up to tertiary. We have 20 students overseas pursuing masters and PhDs. And they do, those students do mentoring online. So anybody say nothing good not come from the ghetto prove that when i went to the school perhaps annually less than 20 percent of the students leaving did the csec examination in 2011 all students in grade 11 do cxc exams what we want to share with you today are some persons who have had very interesting experiences because while you know these statistics we sometimes only hear of the bad things but in Jamaica we actually have some very very good things happening. We started to have friends in the community and this bring about my doll father. I was held by the police and charged for a murder, sentenced young by my neck. I spent 14 years and there to see sunlight for five minutes each year for 14 years. Overall, I spent 24 years behind this bar. Now, while in prison, I self taught myself to become educated to the level where I am. I am even a full fledged designer, tailor now, that I have learned while incarcerated. And I... The media needs to be more, in my view, aware of you know, what their power and influence is and to be conscious of it in a more conscious way. And the last thing, when we're talking about trying to uh, enforce certain values, I believe it is not served when you serve it as a public service announcement. You tune out the people you, you need to reach when it comes across as a public service announcement. I don't want to hear it when you try to preach it to me. But if it is woven in, then you know, it, 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 it can reach better. I've always maintained that the media is a critical partner and a very powerful partner. And one of the things that I'd like to see considered going forward is that the same trauma that uh, Naomi gave us a bird's eye view into, I think that sometimes when it is repeatedly portrayed through the media, it serves to normalize violence in the society. This Unite for Change, you know, I have wrapped myself around it. You know, in terms of trying to overstand it, trying to become one with it. Because I am not going to say unite for change if I don't overstand it. And I have taken this unite for change to be a move from the Ministry of Security um, in a close proximity with justice and all the other stakeholders to say, yes, when the security ministry step out on something like this, it is really them saying the, it's not a forced thing. We are reaching out to the hearts of the people. Please join with us and we can move forward.